softball field where we're understanding that they were practicing for a softball game that's coming up. A congressional softball game set to happen tomorrow. NBC's Tom Costello uh, is standing by on the phone. Tom, what more can you tell us at this point? What do we know? Guys, good morning. We're in Alexandria, Virginia, just across the river from Washington. This occurred within the past hour or so, within the 7 o'clock hour Eastern time. A gunman allegedly opening fire on a group of members of Congress who were playing baseball, really practicing for a big baseball game that they have every year. That game is tomorrow night. They were on a practice field when a gunman uh, apparently opened fire. We do have reports of people hit. We cannot tell you exactly who has been hit. There's one report that a gunman has been taken into custody, uh, and that is where we stand at this point. Uh, there may be uh, more coming in the next few minutes, but a tremendous amount of emergency equipment here in Alexandria, Virginia, with police, fire, rescue, all on the scene, and allegedly one gunman taken into custody. Guys, back to you. And, and there are reports, as I mentioned at the top, that a member of Congress has been shot um, but we just aren't clear yet whether or not that identity has been confirmed. And if we have no reports at this hour of any fatalities, but as Tom just mentioned, potentially multiple shots fired. Tom, you mentioned that there are reports that this government may be in, in custody. Uh, is this an area that's on lockdown right now? Do they believe this, this is a government who acted alone? Do they think perhaps uh, that, that he might be part of, of something larger? And again, the caveat here being that, that this is very early and all of this information is, of course, preliminary. Yeah, Craig, there is so much police activity in this area, uh, I'm still not able to get right up to the scene itself. I'm a couple of blocks away, and as you would expect, with this much police activity there, the streets are a bit uh, locked down at the moment, difficult to get in close. So I can't answer your question as to whether they think other players might be involved here, but uh, we do have a report that at least one gunman may be in custody at this point. There are also members of Congress tweeting out updates on themselves and reporting that multiple shots were fired and that uh, and one report has it that a rifle was involved uh, in the shooting, but we don't have that independently and, confirmed. And Tom, sorry to interrupt you, but NBC has now confirmed that Steve Scalise, who is the Republican whip, a, a congressman in leadership in the United States Congress, was among those who was shot. Unclear on what his condition is at the moment. I, I, I want to go to Peter Alexander, who's at the White House, and I see that Sean Spicer, the White House press secretary, has said that both the president and vice president have been briefed. Peter, what more can you tell us? Yeah, that's right. We're now hearing from the White House, Sean Spicer, the press secretary, who you'll remember formerly served at the Republican National Committee, so he has very close relationships with members of Congress that would include Steve Scalise, the Republican congressman from Louisiana. Spicer writing that both the president and vice president, as you noted, are aware of this developing situation in Virginia, adding that our thoughts and prayers are with all affected today. There are reports right now so far uh, not yet independently confirmed by NBC News that Scalise was hit in the hip by gunfire today. Other reports, a lot of this coming through Twitter, many lawmakers and their aides communicating on the status right now on Twitter. One of them suggesting that Mo Brooks, another Republican lawmaker, actually used his belt as a tourniquet to try to stop some of the bleeding on one of the victims at this location there. This took place in an area of Alexandria, Virginia, known as the Delray area that has largely been a gentrifying area. It's an area that has had some problems with crime in the past. At this point, still unclear whether, in fact, the victims here, those individuals who were hit, were specifically targeted, or if this was just violence that happened to take place in that area. But about this congressional baseball game that is, at least this morning, as of this morning, scheduled to take place tomorrow at the Nationals ballpark, the home of the Washington Nationals baseball uh, team, this is really one of the few bipartisan uh, opportunities that still exist in Washington with a deeply divided Congress right chance for everybody.